good morning everyone uh, respected faculty members and my colleagues uh, myself dr devan shunakum i am presenting a paper on the influence of a patient's disease knowledge and the beliefs about the medicines on the medication adherence uh, these are the findings from a cross sectional survey among the patient with the diabetes mellitus uh, in the sms multi speciality hospital ahmedabad um, my co authors are dr dharmendra sir dr janak sir dr shahid sir and the dr janil thakkar now the diabetes is a group of a common metabolic disorders this shares a phenotype of a hyperglycemia now the prevalence of diabetes has risen uh, from the estimated 30 million cases in 1985 to 463 million cases in the 2019 now the goals of the therapy uh, which includes the major three goals the eliminate the symptoms related to hyperglycemia to reduce the estimate uh, eliminate the long term microvascular and the macrovascular complications of the diabetes and allow the patient to achieve a as normal as a uh, impossible lifestyle now to reach these goals the uh, patient uh, we have to provide the educational and the pharmacological resources uh, necessary to reach this level and the monitor and the treat the diabetes related complications now the purpose of this study is to assess the medication adherence uh, related knowledge in the patient with the diabetes now according to who classic uh, who the what is the definition of adherence adherence means the, to extend which the person's behavior taking a medication following a diet uh, or uh, executing a lifestyle changes corresponding or agreed with the recommendation from the healthcare provider is known as adherence now we are using a self uh, uh money reporting measure remain the most common approach uh, in case of the evaluation of the adherence now the method methodology the study duration was a four month uh, period uh, starting from the july 2023 now the sampling method was convenient sampling method study type was a cross sectional research design the data collection was a self report survey method for the data collection and the study site is sms multi specialty hospital chankhera amdavad now the patient inclusion criteria the diabetic patients were included uh, which was uh, aged uh, more than or equal to 18 and now the at least 3 months of the medication uh, should have taken by the patient and those who have given the consent now the exclusion criteria were the aged less than 18 patient with the mental illness and those unwilling to participate were excluded in the study now the data collection uh, was done by the moresky green levine medication adherence scale mgl scale the data was analyzed using the univariate and the multivariate analysis using the spss version 22 the difference between two groups were examined using the chi square uh, test and the p value 0 less than 0.05 was taken as a uh, significant association now all these uh, socio demographical uh, parameters and the uh, clinical profile which include the disease type duration current medication recent a1c results and other comorbidities if present were taken into consideration now the mgl scale uh, mainly uh, it includes the uh, four main questionnaires the one question first is do you ever forgot to take your diabetes medication uh, second is uh, do you ever have a problem remembering to take your medication uh, third is when you feel better uh, you stop taking your diabetic medications and fourth is when you feel worse or when you take your diabetic medication you, do you stop taking it uh if any one of uh, these answer comes as a yes we give the point as a 1 if the answer is no we give point as a 0 so it is a neg- negative uh, uh characteristic questions now to assess the adherence level a score of a 0 is a high adherence level a score of a 1 or 2 is a intermediate and score of 3 or 4 which is a low adherence now the results the total of 375 uh, diabetic patients were taken from majorly was uh, uh, aged between the 41 to 59 years which was 43% now 196 respondents are male uh, majorly the pa- patients are from the rural residents uh, they were uneducated 36% patients total 27 were the um, employed people and the majority of the classified having a low or middle income group now the adherence level uh, the from uh, we can see that Uh, the 35% of the people had a high adherence level uh, from the total population uh, total 21 uh, plus, uh, the score from 1 and 2 which we were considering as a uh, intermediate adherence uh, the total is a uh, 42% and the low adherence uh, which we consider core 3 and 4 so uh, total 21% patients were having a low adherence levels now 
in the mgl score the majority of the participant reported that they have forgot to take their diabetes medication uh, 54 point and that other two third of the patient were not careless when taking their prescribed medication and one third of the patient were careless about their medication among these three quarter patient had uh, did not stop their medication and when they feel the uh, better or felt worse now here we can see the association between the patient sociodemographical data and uh, their adherence level to the diabetic medication in the male and female group the they were nearly equal uh, so there were no major difference as the uh, 33 35 percent in the male and 33 percent in the female group has a higher adherence levels uh, 43 percent in the females and the 44 percent in the male were the intermediate adherence and the 23 percent in the female and the 19 percent in the male were the low adherence now here we can see this is a significant one that occupational status and this association between the adherence to medication played a major role in this uh, among uh, 375 patients 30 percent uh, 30 uh, stu uh, were the students uh, in which the, the which comprises of the eight percent of the population in which the 56 percent reported the high adherence le levels uh, among the employed peoples which were 101 uh, which comprises 27 percent of the population study population the 42 percent people uh, that the humble uh, candidates had a high adherence now from the intermediate the retired people which was 80 among the studies which comprises of the 21 percent uh, in which the 40 percent peoples had their intermediate adherence and among the the unemployed peoples which were the major chunk of the our study uh, 43 percent uh, which had a 51 percent of the intermediate level of the adherence now the uh, so except the occupational status there was no difference in the socio-demographic characteristics by the level of the adherence the Kaixa test showed the statistical significance only with the occupational status. The rest of the uh, factors like the gender, age, res uh, residence, education, marital status, family income uh, were not significantly associated with the high adherence of the medication. Now the association between the uh, clinical variables and the uh, adhesion. Now the current medication section, the HbA1c levels and the associated comorbidities. These three parameters were very significantly associated with the adherence levels. Here we can see the uh, from the total number of the 375 peoples, the 207 peoples were uh, only on the OHA. Uh, 93 people were OHA with insulin and 75 peoples only had on the insulin. From which we can see that the uh, uh, very uh, large number of the patients with or with the OHA has a high and the intermediate uh, intermediate level of the adherence with the OHA and insulin the level of the adherence from the higher to the intermediate shifting to the intermediate side and from the uh, in, in the insulin only peoples there is a higher adherence was seen now the association between the HbA1c levels and the medication adherence uh, now here we can see that the those who have the less than 7% of the HbA1c values had a very high number of the adherence to the medication and the intermediate group between the 7 to 8% group the majority of the uh, peoples were intermediate adherence group and the more than 8 they were uh, not that much adherence to the medication now here we can see the data of the uh, number of associated comorbidities and the adherence to medication here we can see if the patient is having a nil comorbid condition the 48 percent of the people having the higher values of the adherence to medication as the comorbid condition increases one two three and more four the level of the adherence decreases now the uh, here we can show the high level of adherence to the diabetic medication was significantly associated with the less than seven percent of the hba1c values and no associated comorbid conditions now uh, the rest of the uh, things like the medication and then clinical variables like duration and the pharmacological regimen even didn't uh, uh, were the significant now the in the discussion group Huh. The significance of the association between the medication regimen and the adherence seen in the univariate analysis uh, were diminished in the multivariate analysis and indication for the ineffective communication between the patient's healthcare professionals and inadequate knowledge of the disease medications or the awareness of its com uh, complications they may uh, will be possible cause. Now the patient with the diabetes uh, with the comorbidity generally have the more drug of the different pharmacological classes. This complex treatment regimen could be a factor for contributing toward the non-adherence. 
Now, in the conclusion, the findings point towards the need for the better management of primary healthcare providers approved to the individual patient by taking into account their medication adherence levels and try to uh, modify the treatment according to that basis. My limitation of the study is are these that these are the self-report studies, so uh, patient can lead to overestimation of the adherence and they based on the participants' recall also, so it could be a uh, less than the present result in the research. Now these are my references. And thank you for your attendance.